Welcome to the first video of a new series that we want to be showing you guys called Did You Know? And we're going to just take some time to go over some certain parts of the Iris app that you may or may not be super familiar with. So today we're just going to start with the Did You Know that your clients can book online through your Iris calendar. And so I'm going to show you what this looks like from the client's point of view. This is all something that you can set up and we do have YouTube videos uh, showing you how to get to this point, but I want to show you what it looks like from your client's perspective. So you can see when they first land on your calendar link, you have an introduction title here as well as an introductory paragraph. And so you can include whatever information that you want to include here. But this is a great way to kind of explain what this is to your clients, give them a little bit more detailed information if you need to do that as well. And so once your client lands on this page, they're going to go ahead and read whatever you've included here and select book appointment. And so now you can see we have your basic calendar and this is for my summer family sessions. What I really love about this particular design that we've done is that your clients can, can easily see the steps that are required in order to get to the confirmation. And you have the option to make the contract and the invoice components optional. Those don't have to be included. I have included them. We do highly recommend, of course, that you have a contract for every booking. And this is great because you can also have an invoice available for that per deposit if you do a non-refundable deposit. It's great to go ahead and include that in this component. So I'll show you kind of how it goes, how a client would go through this process. The time zones are going to be shown in your client's time zone. So if for some reason you are, live in one time zone, your client is in another, they will see whatever, they will see the times reflected in their exact time zone. We have that information shown here. We also show that information when they actually select the time themselves. So you can see they're able to kind of click over on a particular date, see the times that you have available. And once they've chosen a particular time zone, it's going to get highlighted the, or a particular time, it will get highlighted. And then they'll see down here at the bottom what they have selected, again, shown in their time zone. When they hit continue, they will be prompted to input their information. I do want to point out that we have a timer here at the bottom. So when someone has selected a time, they will have this time slot reserved for them for 15 minutes. And we do this so that when someone selects time and continues to that second step here of inputting their information, nobody else can reserve that time as they're finishing this process. If somebody gets to this stage or even one of these other stages before they get to the confirmation page, if this timer runs out before they've completed the entire process, after 15 minutes, that time will become available again on your calendar. We put this in place to prevent any double booking problems. So once they've clicked next, you can see we've got a, a contract here. They're going to need to type in their name and then sign as well and continue to the next step. Now, the contract and invoice are completely optional. We have it included here. This particular invoice even has um, a payment schedule on here, but this is where your client can then complete the process of paying that deposit. And you can see that's all that has to happen. Now that this payment has been received, we've completed all of these steps within the process, your client is now confirmed. You will get an email confirmation that someone has booked with you. And if you even set your calendar up to include a workflow along with this calendar, what will happen is as soon as this has been confirmed, that workflow will be initiated. So if you have a welcome email that goes out or if you have a follow-up uh, message, anything like that in your workflow, that workflow is now initiated. And then the best part here is that your clients are able to immediately add this to one of their calendars, which is a great way for them to make sure that they don't miss it and they've got that information secured. So again, this is our online booking process from the client's perspective. If you haven't had an opportunity to try this out, please shoot us a message. Use the little icon in the bottom right-hand corner to reach our support team, and we would be happy to help you get this set up.